Jam 2016 Biology Question 1. Which of the following conditions is not necessary for photosynthesis to take place? Option A. Chlorophyll. Option B. Light. Option C. Carbon dioxide. Option D. Carbon dioxide. Photosynthesis is the process by which green plants manufacture their food in the presence of sunlight. Photosynthesis takes place through the use of carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight. Carbon dioxide, which is also called carbon monoxide, is a poisonous gas and has no use in photosynthesis. So from our options here, it means that we we'll require chlorophyll for photosynthesis to take place. We we'll also require light. We we'll also require carbon dioxide, but we won't need carbon dioxide. Therefore, our correct answer is option C. JAM 2016 Biology Question 2 The insects in which the maxilla are modified into a long coiled proboscis is Option A. Housefly Option B. Butterfly Option C. Mosquito Option D. Grasshopper The correct answer here is Option B. Butterfly Butterflies and moths have a hollow tube called a prombosis, which is used to suck up nectar. Being long, it can go deep into the nectar and the insect can suck it up as if through a straw. The prombosis is usually coiled underneath the butterfly's head. When the insect wants to feed, the prombosis is uncoiled and extended. Now from the options we have here, mosquito also uses prombosis, but the prombosis of mosquito is not coiled. That's why our correct answer is option B, butterfly. JAM 2016 Biology Question 3 When a cell is placed in solution and the size of the cell increases, the concentration of the solution is said to be option A, isotonic, option B, dilute, option C, hypotonic, option D, hypertonic. A solution can be labeled one of three ways when it is compared to another solution or in comparison with a cell. First, it may be considered an isotonic solution, meaning it has an equal amount of solutes and water when compared to the cell. In this kind of solution, it means that no, there will be no movement of water from the solution into the cell, meaning that our option A is wrong. A solution can also be classified as a hypertonic solution, meaning it has more solutes and less water than the cell. In this kind of situation, water will move from the cell into the solution, resulting in shrinkage of the cell. Therefore, our option D is wrong. A solution can also be labeled as a hypotonic solution, meaning it has less solutes and more water than the cell. When a cell is exposed to a hypotonic solution, there is net movement of water into the cell. The cell increases in size. Cells without walls will swell and may burst if excess water is not removed from the cell. So for an option here, the correct answer is option C hypotonic solution. JAM 2016 Biology Question 4 Which of the following plant hormone is responsible for ripening of fruits? Option A. Giberellins Option B. Abscisic acid Option C. Ethylene Option D. Cytokinins There are five major plant hormones which are auxine, cytokinin, giberellin, abscisic acid, and ethylene. Each of the hormones differs in its effect. The auxins, giberellins, and cytokinins act as growth stimulators, whereas abscisic acid and ethylene act as growth inhibitors. Ethylene specifically function in stimulating or regulating the ripening of fruits and the opening of flowers. Industrially, 
Ethylene gas is used to ripen tomatoes, bananas, pears, and a few other fruits after harvest. So looking at our option here, option A is wrong, option B is wrong, option D is also wrong. Our correct answer therefore is option C, ethylene. JAM 2016 Biology Question 5 The ability of a living organism to detect and respond to changes in the environment is referred to as Option A. Locomotion Option B. Thesis Option C. Irritability Option D. Growth From the options we have here, the answer isn't option A, which is locomotion, neither is it option D, which is growth. Our correct answer lies between option B and option C. Now let's look at what these two mean and then we'll pick out the correct answer from them. Irritability is the ability of a cell to respond to stimuli, while thesis is a form of irritability and involves the movement of an organism in response to a stimuli. So for we to call a response thesis, it means movement is involved, while irrit irritability is used generally to define the detection and response of an organism to stimuli. Therefore, our correct answer is option C, irritability. JAM 2016 Biology Question 6 An example of an endospermous seed is option A, bean seed, option B, cashew nut, Option C, cotton seed. Option D, maize grain. To answer this question, let's take a look at what an endospermous seed is. Endospermous seeds are those seeds that have an endosperm in the mature seed. It is fleshy, oily, and surrounds the embryo. It functions as a sole food storage organ. Inside the seed coats, a thin peppery cotyledon is present. As you can see here, these are cotyledon, these are embryo covered by the endosperm. Monocot plants have endospermic seeds. Non-endospermic seeds do not have endosperm in the mature seed, as we can see here. The cotyledons are thick and fleshy and function as a sole food storage organs. Dicot plants have non-endospermic seeds. So now, with this knowledge, let's go back to our options. So from looking at option A, option A being seed, it's a dicotyledon seed. So option A is wrong. Option B is also a dicot, that's cashew nut, which is also wrong. Option C, cutting seed, is also a dicot, is also wrong. And finally, option D, maize, which is a monocot seed, it's right. Therefore, our correct answer is option D. JAM 2016 Biology Question 7 Which of the following theories was not considered by Darwin in his evolutionary theory? Option A. Variation Option B. Survival of the fittest Option C. Use and disuse Option D. Competition the correct answer here is option C, use and disuse. The theory of use and disuse is credited to Lamarck, while the other theories like variation, survival of the fittest, and competition is credited to Charles Darwin. JAM 2016 Biology Question 8 Which of the following protects the essential parts of the flower? At board stage. Option A, stamens. Option B, sepals. Option C, petals. Option D, carpels. Now let's take a look at the diagram of a flower so for us to be able to answer that question. From this diagram, we find out that the protective part of the flower is the sepals. The sepals is the outermost flower part that encloses a board before it opens. So therefore, our correct answer is option B. JAM 2016 Biology Question 9 
Which of the following is an agent of a sexually transmitted disease? Option A, Entamoeba histolytica. Option B, Salmonella typhi. Option C, Tabonema pallidum. Option D, Clostridium tetani. Let's look at our various options and the diseases they cause. Entamoeba histolytica causes amoebiasis, which is not a sexually transmitted disease. So option A is wrong. Option B, Salmonella typhi causes the very popular typhoid fever, and which is not a sexually transmitted disease. Therefore, option B is wrong. Option D, Clostridium tetani causes tetanus, which is also not a sexually transmitted disease. Therefore, option D is wrong. And finally, option C, Treponema pallidum. Treponema pallidum is a bacterium that causes syphilis, which is a sexually transmitted disease. Therefore, our correct answer is option C. Jam 2016 Biology Question 10. Which of the following animals has homodont dentition? Option A, rats. Option B, man. Option C, lizard. Option D, pigeon. To answer this question, let's take a look at what homodont dentition is. Homodont dentition is a type of teeth arrangement which has the same size, shape, and perform the same function. In homodont dentition, no one of the teeth is specialized for a particular function. Examples of animals with such dentitions are reptiles, fishes, and amphibians. Looking at our option here, the only reptile here is lizard. Therefore, our correct answer is option C.